Hello, I'm David. Hi, I'm Julie. So we're going to do another how to play and playthrough of one of Funko Games' newest games, Disney's Return of the Headless Horseman mm -hmm. game, which is based on the 1949 film uh, Ichabob and Mr. T Adventures of Ichabob and Mr. Mr. Toad. Mr. Toad. So I remember seeing, I think this is a film strip in the 70s in elementary school. On a, this is in the old days, and you had to get a 35 millimeter film strip from mm -hmm. the library, and then you had to put it through the projector and broadcast it really? on the screen. Yeah, what well, we didn't have wow. even VHS no. in this, uh, at the schools in the 70s. No. So it was film strips and, and uh, uh, slides. Hmm. You know, remember we had to mm -hmm. drop the slides in? I do remember that. But anyway, it's just a really cool box. Was, if, if you can see here on, it has a, uh, well actually, I can switch cameras. It has a nice foil stamp here on the cover. You know, it's ages six and up, two to four players, and I think that's accurate. Yeah. And for the object of the game, just like in the cartoon, is to get Ichabob all the way to the bridge here without flipping up. Now there's eight of these. Four pumpkins. So it's like building a puzzle. So every time the horseman passes or lands on Ichabob, you flip up one of these tiles. Okay, so that's one of the four. And you'll see that at some point, if you get four of them to come up, oh wow, so I didn't shuffle these well. No, you didn't. It will create a puzzle, and I'll have it off to the side here, but if you get all four to come up, it will look like this, and Ichabob will lose. And this is a cooperative game, and it's actually quite interesting, the strategies uh, uh, of how it works, which I'm going to explain here in a minute. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. We'll be doing a review of it, too. So anyways, if the four out of the eight come up, Ichabob loses. All right, so let's... Uh, Go over here. Oh, I, I left the box out because I wanted to show you that it does have scenes. Oh, let's do it on the other camera here from the cartoon where they're at the party. Oops. Whoopsie. Okay. Well, I got to move this over. <laughs> see, oh, look here. at that. Yeah. So that's the party where Brahm tells a story. And there's debate as to whether or not is Brahm really the headless horseman? I think he is. Yeah, some people say yes, some people say no. I think Because if is. you know the story, and there he is right there. If you know the story, uh, they're in competition for the same girl. Right. All right, so anyways, that's the box. I just wanted to show that to you because I didn't notice it uh, at first. All right, so in terms of setup. I'll mix these up. Okay, well, actually, don't, don't do anything oh. with it yet. This is one piece. It will go underneath the board right here, and it's the part of the movie... Oh, I should say the short story where they chase around the tree. Okay, so this is incorporated into the game. So I gotta make sure I have it. So I wanted to show you first how it is. So, uh, and then this part here is in three pieces. So let me show it on camera here. You'll have this piece will slide in here, just right into here. Okay, and it's cardboard so this might, you might want to do this not have your kids do it because if they don't do it well we'll bend it now this part here see there's grooves right here and it can come undone as you're playing I had to adjust it a couple times okay hang on right here see how it slides in there oops so it may be worth gluing. It may be not. This depends. And then it will go slide into the hole right here. And at some point, Ichabob will, doesn't matter how far Ichabob moves, he has to stop here. And then he will be placed on here. And you'll spin. And where you end up, you'll come out either on this trail, this trail, this trail, or this one. You'll also use the spinner when you only have one card left and you must say Ichabob and that's how many more cards you will get. So like, and so Ichabob will start here at the house. Headless Horseman will start here. And you can play uh, the easier version where every question mark you'll see on these cards. If you have a card here that has a question. Well, I shuffled it so well it's buried. <laughs> there it is. When that comes up, that means uh, the Hellas Horseman will move 
two based on this card. If you want to make it harder, he'll move four. So we're playing the easy version. Yes. So uh, the Hellas Horseman is going to move two. Okay, let me see something here. Make sure this is lined up well. Okay, it is. Hey, honey. Because I moved the board, yeah. Do you want to change the tree around so the tree faces when he sits Oh, there? yeah, good point. I did it the other way. That's okay. I just noticed when you were spinning yeah, it. Yeah, and I didn't... See how I... you got to be careful. Oh, I'm... No, you're okay. My, my point is this will pop off. Yeah. If you put press down too hard. So, uh, this, that's why I'm saying I may, may want to glue it. Uh, so, the object of the game is... <coughs> each character will have four cards in their hand. Well, not the object, but the way the game play. We already told you the object is to get to the end. So Julia and I have four cards. She, I, she can't tell me what she has, and I can't tell her what I have. The, and what we figured out, this is what's great for young, young children, is that you can communicate by doing some math skills here. Of is you, You're either going to go one or six spaces, Ichabob is. Now the Hellas Horseman would go as many, spa as many cards that you, you play, it will go that many here, uh, shown on the white and the orange, which is equal to two. I'll give an example in just a minute. But here at the house, space one, two, three, four are safe. Ichabod would want to land on these four. You don't want to play a five or a six. Because if Ichabod lands on here, you're going to flip up one of these eight tiles. And remember, the object is not to have those tiles be flipped up. Because if you get the four... Uh, pumpkins you lose okay so I'm just gonna put it right there for now so you can communicate say you can say you know what we're gonna say is all right we don't want to play a five or six we can say that mm -hmm. so then Julie <clears throat> will take a card out of her hand uh, I'll explain it. this space means that if a Bob lands on the tree you'll spin it and he will move that many more spaces so he will move two more Unfortunately, now he's also going to have to flip up a card. So that's, that's the risk you take. If you land here, you can take the shortcut. That's a good thing. The Headless Horseman does not activate these. Now, one other rule is if the Headless Horseman passes or lands on Ichabob, say Headless Horseman goes here, okay, because he moved farther ahead, Ichabob, uh, the Headless Horseman will go right behind Ichabob, so I'll show it on camera here. So Ichabob is placed, I'm sorry, the Hell's Horseman is played right behind Ichabob. And then Ichabob goes one more space forward. So every time the Headless Horseman catches up to Ichabob, we're going to flip up a tile. And then where Ichabob lands, you ignore, except for... Let's see here. Except for the, uh, when moving Ichabob to the next blank space, the tree and the covered bridge count. So Ichabob will ignore this space when it lands on it because he's already going to be flipping up a tile. Now here's a possibility that you can still flip up two tiles. Ichabob landed here, flips up a tile. Hellas Horseman goes past Ichabob, flips up a second tile, goes behind Ichabob, and then Ichabod moves to the next space. Oh, next blinks? Uh, well, next space above it, yeah. And, but you ignore the, uh, what do they call these spaces? Uh, scare spaces. So, but it's still possible to flip up two tiles. If Ichabod lands on one, his horseman goes past Ichabod, you flip up a second one, Ichabod moves forward one, but then you ignore that space, unless it's the tree or the bridge. Because at the very end, if Ichabob gets to the bridge, the Headless Horseman still gets a turn. And if, and if the Headless Horseman still passes Ichabob, that means another tile will still flip up. So it's possible that you can lose at the very end of the game because you, uh, the Headless Horseman catches up at the very last, more, very last minute. After, so, for instance, if there's... I, I just saw what that was. If I have three of those pumpkins face up, right? And uh, Ichabob gets to the bridge and then the Headless Horseman gets to the bridge. I have to flip up another tile and it could be that fourth uh, pumpkin. 
All right, so let's take a look how we're moving again. So here we are, we're starting here. Let's say Julie plays the three, okay? She plays it, and then we put it face down. Julie plays the three, she doesn't tell me she's playing the three. We just know we don't wanna play fives and sixes. I play the two. We review. We don't have a matching number. So then Julie goes, well, I don't have a, a, a two or a three, I'm going to play a one because then she could play a one the flying turn. So she plays it face down. I have another two. I play it face down. Okay, we reveal. So Ichabob, we have a matching set of twos. Let me go to that camera. This is why I had the rules here so we know <laughs> where, the, where, to place it, where to place it. Okay. So Ichabob's going to move two, but the Hellas Horseman's going to move two, four, six. So some nice counting uh, skills in this game. So Ichabob goes one, two, nothing on that space, and now Hellas Horseman will go six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he's already getting close. Now there's a possibility that this could happen. Uh, let me find a card here. All right. Let's say there is already a six here. Okay. So someone puts down that face down and this face down. We reveal a two and a six. We have two matching numbers. Well, you take the lowest one, not the six. And has horseman still gonna go two, four, six. So if you do get more than one matching number, you take the lowest one. All right, so the cooperation in the game is going to be us looking ahead and communicating, hey, don't play a five or a six because we don't want to land there. Uh, yeah, so hopefully we can get Ichabod safely home. You start out with four cards. When you get down to one card, you'll say Ichabod and spin the tree. And then you'll get either, as you will see here on the board, one to four cards. Okay, so here's Julie's four. Thank you. There's my four. And so, Julie, we don't want to play a five or six. So we're looking at our cards. And I will play this one. Okay, so go ahead and reveal. You're going to be the flipper. Okay. So now, we don't have a matching set, but we know the Headless Horseman is going to be moving four. All right, so we look at our, our remaining cards. We both have three each, and I'm going to put down one. Let's go ahead and flip them up. All right, so we both have a matching set of three. We have, we have more than enough threes now, so we're going to only move three. One, two, three. We spin the tree. We move two more. So unfortunately, we got to flip up a card. And we got one of the pumpkins. Mm. Bummer. Uh, and the Hellas Horseman moves how far, honey? Two, four, six, seven. Seven. Wow. Bummer. All right, take the cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And so what? What it's nice in the rules because young people can have a hard time with shuffling. It just says that when you're done with the when you're if the draw pile runs out, you just uh, you don't shuffle it. You just take the pile again. Yep. Okay, notice we both have two cards left. Okay. And we're going to look at the board here. We don't want to play a one. One, two, three, four, five, six. A one, five, or six. Although the three would be ideal if we can take the shortcut. All right, so that's all we can say. And hopefully we have the right cards. Okay. All right, reveal. Okay, we gotta have it get it come in focus. Oh. All right, a four and a six. You must not have good cards. So, Ichabob, I'm gonna spend. I get because we're both down to one card. Why don't you put your card here, honey? Okay, I get three more. Ichabod. And you get three more. All right, so we have four cards now, and we look. I'm gonna remind Julie that hopefully we can get a three, or four, or two if necessary. 
Okay, so we're gonna put it right here. Go ahead and flip them up. All right, so uh, the f three I played, it doesn't matter, but the fours do take effect. Oh, and, and uh, the Hellas Horse one's only gonna move one. No, no. Three, three, two, three. All right, so we move Ichabod first, four. Okay, we spin the tree again. And we go four, that's pretty good. But we have to flip up another token. That sucks. <laughs> All right, but we're okay. It's a crow. Ooh. And he go. He went three, right? Yes. One, two, three. Oh, well, he's pretty far behind. All right, so one, one would be ideal. One, two, three, wait, one, two, four, and five would be great. Okay. Okay, wait, Julie, we can't, we can't wait till they come to focus. All right, we got, we played the right card. We're going one, and Headless Horseman's going four. So we take the shortcut, mm -hmm. and he goes four. So this is what, here is the action here. That's what it's looking from this angle. Hey, I should leave that on. I don't need to see us. Uh, well, we gotta be switching camera angles here. All right, so let's take a look here. Three, four, five, and six. We just don't want to do a one or a two, but ideally four would be best. Ready? Oh, we got lucky. We both played fives. And uh, Headless Horseman's only going to one. Yep. Okay, so go one, and we go five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we spin the tree. And it's right before the two, the three there, so it goes two more. Unfortunately, we landed oh, darn it. on the, uh, let me uh, back up here. We landed right here. Yep. Darn. So, uh, we got to flip up one. Okay. Another one. So oh, we got two boo. of the four boo. we needed the puzzle. All right, Ichabod. Uh, it's Two. right before the line. Ichabod. Three. Three. You have one more card than me. All right, so let's look ahead here. Uh, the one, the two, the three. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, I'm sorry, the two, three, four, and six. Move your hand so it can come to focus. Okay. All right. We'll see if we can match. Let's see if anybody has a four or a six. Unfortunately, I have, I don't have neither. So I'm going to be playing anything. I'm not playing anything that helps. But you have a four. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hellas Horseman's going to be going how, how far, Julie? Two, four, five. And we go four. You have to move him. Now, did you go five? Yeah, we okay. were right there. We okay, go four. five. Hmm? Okay. We go four. All right, so let's do that. One, two, three, four. Well, we got a blank, but at least we didn't get anything bad. Exactly. So let me move this a little bit here. Okay. Whee! <laughs> here he comes. Oh, wait, I forgot to be doing this for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I, I found this online. <laughs> Here's from the movie. So if you have a young person listening, that might have scared them there. Sorry. Maybe I should have warned you. should have put a warning. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right, I have one card. Ichabob. He's been waiting three, to play that four, for you guys. Two. I forgot, but now I just remembered. So I have four. Okay. Okay, so we want to go two or four, five, or six, because we have to stop at the tree anyway. Okay. All right. So he's pretty far behind. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, well, let's see if we can get, so he's going uh, to be going for. Ichabod. Oh, Ichabod, go ahead, you can spin it. You get four. Is that what it is, four? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you have a lot of cards. 
All right, so we got a matching five or six. Let's see if we can do it. I'm looking at my cards here. Hang on. I'll play this one because it has a blank. Okay. All right, we're going six. And how far is uh, Heather's Horseman going? Two, four, six. All right, let's move him first. Wait, okay. wait, wait. I, I got to do my laugh. Oh, yeah. So one, two, three, four. He stops. And we'll put him on the tree in a minute. But, if, but let's move him six. Here we go. <laughs> See, I'm trying to have a little bit of fun here. <laughs> the game's fun anyway, but I had a little bit more fun with yes. the boy. All right, so now we're going to do the tree. So here we go. I'll move the camera, and you can see how cool this is. This is really clever here, mm -hmm. what they did. So now we're going to find out where we're going to end up. We're going to spin Ichabob on the tree. So you load him in. It's a nice little spot right here. Because you're in the. If you've seen the cartoon, they chase around the tree. All right. See what path. And it looks like the two, because that's where the... Didn't go very far. Okay, right there. Well, it's all it would have right. been worse if it was there. True. All right, I have two cards left. I have a bunch of cards left. All right, so let's see here. Where are we at here on the board? Okay, there's what's going on. He's pretty far back. Mm hmm Okay. So let's take a look at... We want to go three f or five, if okay. we can. Three or five. you get you got a five mm -hmm. all right i got I, ichabob i get four and there's four left nice so as i say again for young people this is a great idea just don't shuffle it just take the deck okay so a five would be ideal if one of us can play it and hmm I'm looking here. Yeah. I'm just gonna have to play, I'm gonna have to play this. And you had another five. I yep. was hoping you would. Now I can see why you can, you might wanna, because we've gotten good at this game, why you might wanna play with the four instead of the two, because we are communicating well and playing our cards well now. All right, so we're going to go five. How far is... Uh... Two, three, four, five, six. Do you want to make your little sound again? Uh, in just a second. So we're going to move Ichabob five. Five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Now we can still get a bad spin here. Let me move the camera here. Three. Ugh. One, two, three. All right. Bummer. That's the problem with landing on those. Okay, but we're all right. It's a... Oh, good. Is this a spider? Yeah, it looks like a spider. Oh, a oh, little spider. Okay. And wait, how far is uh, he going? Six. Okay, just wait, though. i got to get the, get my phone on again. Here we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right. <laughs> Such a kid. I love it. <laughs> All right. So, uh, one, two, three, four. We don't want the five. The three would be ideal. Okay. All right. You play the four. Oh, Ichabod. Okay. Yeah, you got to get the cards. <clears throat> How many cards are you getting? Four. Four. One, two, three, four. So I'm looking at my hand. Hopefully Julie will play something we need. And I want to play this card to avoid having Headless Horseman go. Okay. Ready? Yeah. All right. So we're not getting going anywhere. Mm -hmm. But we both played blanks. So that's a good thing. All right, so now we're looking at our next card. Okay. Here, why don't you move it up? 
you've got to be able to see the horse. All right, so we played twos. So we're going to go two, and he's how going far? two, four, six, eight. Eight. So yeah, he. So that's the only problem we don't match. So yeah. here's a tree. Is it before the three? I yes. can't see from there. I don't know. One, two, three. Bummer. Flip up another one. Oh shoot. Okay, that's not good. Ooh. Now I got to play. You have to move him, honey. I can't. Eight. Okay, eight. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now he ignores the tree. Okay, but he's still pretty far away. Look at that, how far away he is. We are almost. Yeah, we're almost there. Let me move the tree along with this, you can see. We're almost there. Okay. Uh, I have one card, so Ichabod. What are you looking up? If it's, if, if it's Ichabod or it's I Ichabod. I don't know. Yeah, Ichabod. Bod. Bod. B O D. Okay, so there you go. Ichabod. That's me getting it wrong. No, it's okay. I just wanted to make sure we were saying it right. Well, I was saying it wrong. That's okay. I think I was too. So it's no <laughs> Ichabod. Big there we Ichabod. go. Ichabod. All right, so one, two, three, four is good, and six. Let's see here. I already counted, so I already knew. Okay. Now, just so you know, on camera, guys, I have two sixes here. I'm going to play the blank one to avoid having the, the horseman move. Julie doesn't play play a matching one. Julie did. All right, so we were both thinking alike. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. He goes two. Two. Yeah! <laughs> okay, so oh my gosh. we're on to the next part here. Uh, one, two, three is good. Four is not good, and six is not good. But two would be great. Oh, we to oh I'm sorry, honey. I got it. Oh. Now, look, I have this right here to help us make sure that we are. I know. There we go. I... That helps us align things. It helps him align things. Okay. I just put things wherever. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. all right. I'm looking here. I don't want to do that one. That's kind of crummy, too. Well. Hmm. Okay. I didn't have very good cards. Take a bud. Okay, hopefully you get something better here. Four. four. Okay, here's your four. All right. Okay, screwed it down. All right, so we still don't have a match. Do yeah, we oh, do. We have a five. Have two okay. fives. And he is going two, two four, four five. five. So we're moving five. I'm going to move him five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And Mimi and goes five. That's it. You're done. Oh, darn it. Hang on. i got to get it going here again. I'm looking at my phone here. Oh, my okay. goodness. Okay. All right. So it's ready. So now we want one, two, three, four, five, six would be really good. Or four or two. two. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Mm. All right. Ichabod. i got to. Ichabod. Got to start getting that right. Three. One, two, three. And so we got a four and a six, huh? Yeah. And nothing I have is good. All right, let's see what you got. Cool. Okay, you guys, okay so we're going six. Six. He's going, hang on, count them. I am. Count. Oh, two, four, five, six. Okay. But I'm going to move my guy six first. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we're almost to the end there. You Give move your up. six. Hang on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <Six>. <laughs> oh All right, goodness. so he's pretty far behind yeah, still. Yeah, thank goodness. 
and uh, all right, let's see what we got here. We only need to get a two or higher. You don't have to land on it exactly. So is that a one? Yeah, yeah a one. but Ichabod. One. Oh. Only one card. It's okay. I had another four. Perfect. All right, so we get to the bridge. And how far does he move? Four. <laughs> and Ichabod got away. Yay! Unlike in the, the story. movie. In the, yeah. Unlike the story. So this is one of the few Disney movies where the bad guy wins. The bad guy wins. Uh, so let's take a look here. At the very end of the rules, it does... Now, we won, but yes. next morning, Ichabod's hat was found, and close beside it, a shattered pumpkin, but there was no trace of the schoolmaster, and it's the final shot in the film, but no, they redid it. No horsey either. Yeah, they don't talk about the horse, <laughs> uh, but let's say if it did catch up at S2 again, would, he have, would we have made it? Uh, see, only two nope. more flip-ups, we, we would have not made it. So, but at least we made it. Yay for us. That was Return of the Headless Horseman. Yep. By Funko. So we hope you enjoyed this how to play and play through. And yes. you take the time to subscribe and like. We appreciate it. And hopefully you watch the next video after this one. All right. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye-bye.